So, yesterday, I went to my local library, and the person that was working at the library was uh, an entry-level employee, and she was poorly informed, or not even informed at all, by the librarians or whoever her superiors were. And this lack of information, this lack of communication had a direct effect on me uh, because it involved a payment um, to obtain what it was at the library that I needed to obtain. But anyways, I was talking to her and I said, yeah, uh, she said, I'm just, you know, at the bottom, I don't know everything that's going on, like the librarians and the library administrators know. And I looked at her and I said, that's because you outsmarted the system that's run by educated fools. And I could just intuitively tell as a chosen one that this type of work had deteriorated her soul. I could see it in her countenance. I could see it in her facial expressions. She was pretending to hold everything together, but you could tell um, that was just uh, uh, a facade she was trying to maintain for public relations. And I was, you know, telling her about, you know, my frustrations uh, with this type of stuff, um, my frustrations in regards to incompetency and just the arrogance that goes hand in hand with it, typically. And she said something to me that I often hear people say, it's almost a cliche at this point, where, she, again, she was lying not only to herself, but she was lying to me when she said this, it wasn't a harmful lie, but regardless, it was still a lie that she was trying to use to maintain face. She said, well, in this line of work, you have to have, quote unquote, thick skin. And I hear this all the time. Like I said, it's pretty much a cliche. But I've noticed that it's always the same type of people that use this phrase, um, thick skin, quote-unquote. What exactly does that mean? I am going to tell you how I dis dissect the true meaning of this phrase. When I hear people say thin skin, almost in every circumstance in which I have heard it, they are always people that are underlings or people that are perceived as being cogs and machines or insignificant uh, like gas station uh, attendants or uh, grocery clerks or uh, people that are uh, not highly regarded. Oh yeah, I have thick skin. I, I deal with the public all the time. Oh, I'm, I'm, I got thick skin. I can withstand the verbal abuse I get from my manager. Oh, you know, I have thick skin. I, I can put up with, with all these uh, circumstances in which I'm being manipulated by my company. It's okay. I can endure it. I have thick skin. Anybody who says that, I'm 100% confident when I say this, but anybody who says that is deliberately lying to themselves. But anyways, what I hear when I hear <coughs> thick skin, quote unquote, is that I hear that the person, it's like Orwellian doublespeak almost. It's a code phrase for, I am too cowardice, truthfully. I am too afraid to take a stand against my corrupt superiors. I am too afraid to stand up for what's right. 
I don't have the confidence to stick up for myself, so I'll pretend that I am strong enough to withstand what I'm dealing with. Having thin, thick, excuse me, in my opinion, when somebody says I have thick skin, I see it as being the exact opposite of, be, of somebody who is willing to speak up, somebody who's willing to speak their mind, somebody that's willing to challenge the status quo, somebody that's willing to challenge their superiors, somebody who's going to stand up for what's right. Because the Matrix wants people with quote-unquote thick skin. Thick-skinned people make the best slaves. Thick, thick, excuse me, I'm just, I can't pronounce it right for some reason, but thick-skinned people are the best at being subservient. Thick-skinned people are the best at being compliant. Thick-skinned people are the best at not questioning. Thick-skinned people are the best at embracing and learning the programming of the matrix. So, maybe it's a good thing to have thin skin. Maybe we need more people with thin skin. Because apparently, being quote unquote thin skin or quote unquote sensitive, I hate that fucking word, is associated with having the ability to question. Maybe those two words are associated with being highly conscientious of your surroundings. Maybe those two words mean you're able to catch on to the evil in this world and its intentions. Maybe being thin-skinned and sensitive means you can read between the lines. And I'm going to end this video saying this. So, going back to the conversation I was having with this library attendant, she said, like I said, I, you have to be thick-skinned to do this type of work or something along those lines. You get the gist. You know what my response to her was? I tore all my thick skin off.